Okay, good evening, all the SMS members. Okay, mm -hmm. today's topic is about this uh, Wi-Fi 7. Okay, the, mm -hmm. it's the next generation uh, in the evolution of uh, Wi-Fi. Um, <clears throat> Actually, Wi-Fi itself, I mean, it's a very good technology. Um, many people using it, be it a uh, enterprise company or even, I mean, home user. Okay, they want the freedom of connection and access the internet. So. That's why this uh, Wi-Fi live on. <clears throat> okay, they have many uh, version of it. Uh, we may look at it. Okay, the naming uh, nomenclature, and then the evolution of it, and then what is the advantage of uh, Wi-Fi seven over the previous standard? Okay, what you expect from a uh, Wi-Fi seven because. The standard have not um, ironed out yet. So they are still defining what kind of expectation the people will be. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the date itself. Okay. Okay, this uh uh The Wi-Fi itself, okay, is set up by this um, consortium IEEE, okay. When they first started IEEE, they named this uh, subgroup, okay, 802.11 group, okay, was came out these uh, Wi-Fi uh, definitions and their paper, okay. So, um, after that, when Wi-Fi started, okay, they have their different uh, standard, okay. So Wi-Fi was started as AO2.11, then they have this AO2.11B, okay, uh, which is utilize the 2.4 gig bandwidth, okay. So then you have this. Uh, 8.11a, which is using the five megahertz band with the frequency, sorry, the, the band, frequency band. Okay. And uh, with so many numbers, a lot of people get confused. That's why, I mean, they rename it, okay, put a number, using numbering sequence. So that's why they say L211 is uh, Wi-Fi zero. Then the um, uh, 811B Wi-Fi one and so on. Okay. So until now you have uh, this uh, outside latest is uh, L211AX. Okay, which is Wi-Fi six. Okay, there's a six E. Okay, extended. Then the next one was uh, Wi-Fi seven. Uh, AO2.11 BE. Okay. All this number, I do not know how they come about. Okay. But uh, this was a number being used in the, the subgroup. Okay. When they discuss the standard. Okay. So we just take it as, I mean, at the east. Uh, okay. So this was the uh, the name by itself. Waves interact at that frequency moderately or modestly. Okay, so the um, next we will have the we talk about okay. Uh, most people I believe are using Wi-Fi four as at least okay. Uh, I don't 
think you were using the 11G, okay, which is uh, Wi-Fi 3. Okay, 11G is Wi-Fi 3. This is a 50 format uh, bandwidth. Okay, so uh, back in um, 2007, okay, they have launched this uh, Wi-Fi 4, okay, which is uh, having maximum of uh, 600 meg throughput, 600 uh, megabit throughput, okay, and using uh, up to 4 by 4 multi multiple in, multiple out antenna. That means you can see uh, most of the antenna is up to four antenna, okay? Uh, the channel is 40 mega per band channel, okay? The modulation is 64 QAM. QAM is a, a kind of modulation, okay? <clears throat> Later, maybe we'll go through some of it, okay? Then this uh, Wi-Fi 4 using the frequency band uh, is actually 2.4 gig and a 5 gig band, okay? Both of these are ISM band, means unlicensed. Okay, this um, is actually based on IEEE uh, 802.11n, okay? This are uh, Wi-Fi 4. Okay, um, after Wi-Fi 4, okay, they will launch this uh, Wi-Fi 5, which is uh, 11 AC. Okay, 11 AC um, <clears throat> launched in um, somewhere 2013. I believe many people actually move, I mean, move on to this. Um, most of the <clears throat> telco uh, when they may subscribe to uh, their broadband, they will usually give you this uh, uh, Wi-Fi 5, that means 11 AC. Okay, this one, they operate based on the uh, five gigahertz band, uh, band, and then they have uh, eight, Eight by eight, that means eight in, eight out, multiple in, multiple out. Okay, and they have uh, both 80 megahertz and 160 megahertz channel. Okay, they're using 256 QAM. Maximum data rate uh, can go up to seven, about seven gig, uh, actually six point something gig. Okay. Then, um, 2019, okay, just before the pandemic, I mean, this COVID, 2019, they actually launched this uh, uh, Wi-Fi 6, okay, based on this uh, Eruto 11 AX. And <clears throat> they actually operate Okay, uh, frequency band on a uh, 2.4 gig, gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and uh, 6 gigahertz. Okay, they're using <clears throat> this, this thing, I mean, called the auto turn frequency duplex multiple access. Okay, this. Uh, OFDMA to uh, improve the, the channel. And then <clears throat> um, they actually using this 1024 QAM. Okay, so, and they uh, implement a newer class of uh, encryption, WAP3, okay, for Wi-Fi 6, and uh, have a maximum uh, throughput rate about 9.6 gigabit per second, 
okay <clears throat> then uh, somewhere uh, January 2001 okay they have this uh, Wi-Fi 6e okay with extension so they have operate on this uh, 6 gigahertz bandwidth and then uh, provide uh, more channel so the throughput will be better I don't think many of you were actually having this uh, uh, <clears throat> Wi-Fi 6, uh. but a lot of phone actually now uh, Wi-Fi 6 ready. And most of our phone. Okay, so uh, what is QA? What is QAM? Okay, the QAM, QAM is something like this. This is 16 QAM. 16 QAM, you can look at the data, okay? They are based on uh, not only the angle, but the amplitude, okay? There are four quadrants. So it's Q, Q is quadrants, four quadrants, and then uh, the amplitude. So inside you can look at it, okay? So if you, Imagine, okay, this is 16. If it's uh, 64, it will be much more complex. And the Wi-Fi 6 will actually uh, 1024, right? So each quadrant actually is uh, 256 points. So there are four quadrants. Okay, so that was the uh, QAM. So you can see the uh, Wi-Fi 6 actually have 1024. Okay, so when I look at it, okay, um, this was the evolution of this uh, technology itself. Okay, when they first started, Okay, the um, A and B, okay. B actually using uh, 2.4 gig. A mostly actually is a company we use. Okay, B using 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth, okay, so the frequency band, then uh, 11G, Okay, 2.4 gigahertz. And then N, they actually having two frequency band, 2.4 gigahertz and a five gigahertz band. Okay, the bandwidth is 40 megahertz. And 555, okay, 11AC is actually um, using the five gigahertz bandwidth, the band, and then they actually having uh, 80 meg or 160 meg bandwidth. So higher the bandwidth, uh, you can have more data. So higher throughput. Okay. Um, at about two to two zero two zero. Okay. Wi-Fi six and six E. Okay. Same same like the uh, Wi-Fi five. Okay. Uh, but. Now additional, they got one six giga 
uh, frequency band 6 gig. Okay, Wi-Fi 7, okay, 802.11BE. So this scheduled to be uh, somewhere 2000, 2023. Okay, same is a backward compatible. So they have 2.4 gig, 5 gig, and 6 gig. Okay, but their bandwidth now is increased. Instead of the six, they have 80 and 160. This one is 240 and 320 megahertz bandwidth. Okay, so these are the advantages of a Wi Fi 6. Okay, you got eight. That's why you see a lot of Wi Fi 6. Um, the router actually come with uh, eight antenna, look like a crack or spider, somebody say. Okay, then they're using this uh, multiplexing so that to increase the, the usage, okay, <clears throat> the scheduling. Then um, they support different um, symbols. Okay, then the modulation itself is 1024. And uh, because they're using MIMO, okay, so they using uh, beam forming so they can extend the range. Okay. Um, more stream, that means the frequency they use actually uh, higher stream bandwidth. Okay, so uh, now look at the table itself, we compare, okay. Wi-Fi 7, what are the stand, what are the advantages? Okay, look at it. Uh, Wi-Fi 4, you only have about um, data rate about 1.2 1. gigabit per second. Wi-Fi 5, you got 3.5 gigabit per second. Wi-Fi 6 actually increased to 9.6 uh, gigabit per second. Um, they expect uh, Wi-Fi 7 uh, at least about 40, 40 over 46 gigabit per second. So it's very high throughput. Okay. Um, this will actually use together with the uh, our five G, okay, to provide uh, I mean the user have different experience on those uh VR uh or gaming and so on. Okay. The frequency band, uh, frequency band, okay, Wi Fi 4 using 2.4 gig and 5 gig. Wi Fi 5 using 5 gig. Okay, so Wi Fi 6 <clears throat> 2.4 and 5 gig. And with 6E, 6 gig. <clears throat> um, Wi Fi 7, they actually, um, Depends on the regulations of the company, I mean, itself. Okay, they operate. Uh, you can have 2.4 gig, 5 gig, 6 gig, as well as uh, uh, they expect, I mean, to have uh, more band, frequency band being used from 1 to 7.25 gigahertz. Okay, so right now it's talking about talking to those uh, <clears throat> countries, I mean, not the consortium to see which frequency can be used, okay, uh, for this purpose. Okay, security. 
Uh, four and five is using WPA2, okay? Six and seven, they actually use WPA3, which is higher secure. Okay, the channel size, okay, 554 only uh, 20 to 40 meg. 555 will actually have uh, 20, Twenty max, okay. We must uh twenty, forty, eighty, and then they have a uh, dual eighty on different different uh, frequency itself, and then they gonna have a uh, hundred and sixty. <clears throat> Same. I mean, Wi-Fi six. Okay, have a similar uh, arrangement. 557 actually go all the way up to uh, 320 megahertz. So it's a uh, high bandwidth. That's why they, they call it Wi Fi 7 uh, uh, ultra high. Okay, throughput. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at the modulations. You look at the modulations. Okay, uh, Wi Fi 4 have a uh, 64 QAM. Okay, five have two five six QAM. Five five six is one zero two four, and five five seven they went up four times to four zero nine six QAM. So with this, that means they actually uh, pack more. I mean uh, data. Okay, if uh, per channel they transmit. So that's why they increase the throughput so high. Okay, to 46 gigabit per second. Okay, the antenna is also double. Okay, instead of uh, uh, six is uh, eight by eight, okay. Seven is 16 by 16. So you will see, uh, Wi Fi 7 will have uh, up to 16 antenna. 60 in, 16 out. So, 16 antenna. So, it's uh, very complex. They were saying that this uh, Wi-Fi 7 about 3.6 times faster than the Wi-Fi 6. Okay. So what they do is they actually uh, increase the user experience on data rate. Okay. And then they uh, improve the efficiency of the spectrum use, uh, the network energy efficiency. Okay. That means they able to control the um, uh, transmit power. So uh, you have a energy efficiency on that. Okay, then the connection density. Okay, because of 16 um, antenna, they actually can group to form uh, more groups, okay? for this uh, beam forming. Okay, the most important thing they actually want to achieve is low latency. Low latency meaning that the delay is very low. Okay, so 
for those people who really play game a lot, okay, latency is one of the key factor okay, to improve the um, uh, experience, the user experience for the games itself. Okay, you don't want to be, um, I mean, play games when you turn, uh, when you turn, you see by far right, you turn and then you look at the animal you want to shoot. But because of the network slow, your turn also very slow and then your shoot also very slow, so you lose out. And so that was the, um, the advantages on the Wi-Fi 7. Okay, you expect the Wi-Fi 7, okay, having a higher data rate, okay, low latency. High data rate is, uh, they are up to about 46 gigabit per second. And then they have very low latency, uh, higher spectrum efficiency, higher power efficiency, Okay, um, better, I mean, interference uh, mitigation because you yeah, have 16 antenna, so they will be able to uh, pick the best signal, okay, from this uh, 16 antenna. That's why your interference uh, uh, can be mitigated. Okay, higher uh, capacity density, okay, because they're using uh, the many frequency band. Okay, um, with uh, 60 antenna, you can have uh, more connected devices. So they try to achieve a uh, higher cost efficient if you uh, use or oh, have a better power efficiency. William. Yes. Graham here. Yeah. I have one question. Uh. Yes. Um, you know, at the moment, Wi Fi 6. Uh, yes. We are all using the NAS. That means multiple uh, locations. Uh, you have another uh, router like that. Uh huh. This thing will apply for the Wi Fi 7 or not? Because uh, what is the coverage? I know that in higher frequency, normally the footprint is smaller and then penetration also actually some light like that, that. That means you cannot go through wall so easily. Definitely, because I, I, I mean, actually experienced uh, the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz, uh, there's already uh, some difference already. The, yes, the, definitely. Yeah, the two brood is actually uh, uh, lower, but the two point four can actually go uh, a bigger range further. Yes, definitely. So I mean, five lower... seven will be actually have to use the next uh, kind of principle also, right? Yes. Uh, I mean, in order to achieve all this uh, high speed, uh, they are, must be stationed at the correct distance, uh. Okay, so uh, that come to, I mean, what kind of uh, placements are, I mean, in your house itself. So the one is another uh, 
uh, very complex. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if, you, if you're living in multi-story uh, kind of uh, houses, then to go vertically is even more difficult. Uh, that one, uh, the one is is a challenge actually. Okay, that's why they they um uh, they they have many other um, methods. Uh, I mean to to solve all these problems. Uh. No, um, it's not cheap. I I found that actually, if you wire up the whole house, uh, with the uh, cat wire, and then. Each one have a cat connections uh, to the room and so on or corridor. Then you actually put a nest over there. Then it, then it's perfect. The mesh uh, the mesh network uh, yes, yeah definitely uh. correct mm. correct. So but you have to spend all this money uh. <laughs> Yeah yeah. This it work. but I think you it it really uh worth it uh, because uh. Uh, if you put curtain and so on, it, it can actually already uh, uh, create a lot of unknown type of uh, factor again. Definitely, I mean the yeah. wireless. Wireless is actually um, is um, another uh, because, because it it is it actually get a lot of uh, reflection from different kind of material and different services yes. you see and then sometimes it actually enforcing it sometimes actually cancel each other and then you get very weak signal yes so the whole thing is not easy uh. try and error uh. mm. Yeah, I, I, I think that is uh, what I bring up. In. Please continue. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> this is uh, what I mean, the, the timeline. The timeline that this uh, uh, IEEE, okay, they, they are um, drawing the future of this uh, Wi-Fi 7. Okay, IEEE 802.11 BE uh, groups, uh, they actually start to talk the whole thing at somewhere 2018. Okay, they start to plan and then <clears throat> somewhere in September, uh, they have a draft already, draft 0 0.1 on September itself. September uh, 2020, okay, as you can see, September 2020, they have a draft um, standard, okay, on the, um, all the things, I mean, the, the Mac, the physical layer and the Mac layer and so on, okay, they talk about all the draft standard, then somewhere, 2021 May, uh, they actually uh, have uh, draft 1.0. Okay. Um, March, as in now, okay, they're supposed to complete the March uh, draft 2.0. Okay. The schedule, they have um, draft 3.0, draft 4.0, okay, next year. Okay, before they have this uh, final uh, amendment on um, May, I mean, 2024. So they still have uh, many drafts to go through. Um, we have seen demo on this uh, one, Wi-Fi 7 uh, in CET itself. Okay, the Consumer Electronics Show. Uh, they have demo the, I mean, some of the capability on this uh, Wi-Fi 7. Um, okay, they have uh, demo it, okay, on the Wi-Fi 7 itself um, to show, I mean, <clears throat> the kind of throughput and so on, okay, but 
uh, as you as I mean, as you know, it's not ready. Okay, it's still uh, on the drawing board. Okay, so they have many uh, <clears throat> uh, talking and so on. Okay, to to make sure, I mean, they they are able to implement it. Okay, with the limitation of technology, and then uh, it's not easy. Okay, we we live on this point, yeah. Yes. I also also want to actually ask. Uh, when we were at the uh, two point four and five, I think that was uh, G or N stage, yeah. Uh -huh. I think it's Y five four, right? According to the current, uh, I mean, um, would it be? I I believe that I think those are router maker and so on. I think uh -huh. before they actually go all the way up to the sort of uh, uh, four zero uh, gigahertz kind of uh, bandwidth, they probably will actually get so called uh, the uh, they will push up the router with the two first, right, and then with four and so on. As it oh. go on, uh, because they they need the uh, Consumer to actually test it out also, uh, in the sense. Which one you talking about? Would you, would you uh, agree on that? You know the two point four and the five also at that time also came out in stages, right? Uh, right. Yeah, definitely. It's, I mean, <clears throat> uh, no, two point four and then two point four and then plus five. Wi Fi is uh, evolving at that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's evolving. So evolving correct, meaning correct. that. Meaning that the <clears throat> they uh the two point four gig the bandwidth I mean the frequency band and bandwidth are two different things, no? Frequency band is the band that uh being able to use okay on this uh Wi-Fi. Yes, yeah, small data uh, go through that uh, for the frequency band. No, 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 no. Frequency band is not frequency band is no. is whether <clears throat> the world uh, I mean. Every country right. they actually have agreed uh, to make hmm. this uh frequency band uh, being available you know, for Wi-Fi. You know. Okay. So <clears throat> 2 point four gig and five gig uh, are actually being um designated you no know, on uh, ISM band uh, they call it for industrial uh, <clears throat> scientific yeah, and it's, medical. It's actually you know. 2.4 is actually for amateur actually. The file was oh. actually at one time was actually for the uh, military and all those. No, it's not. It's actually it's a free for uh, yeah yeah in instrumentations and then the uh, scientific okay. and uh, medical okay being used on this two point four. So okay. ISM band and then the five gear also. And yeah, uh, so the subsequently, <clears throat> yeah, subsequently they also actually allow uh amateur to use it uh. Yeah. So, but, but this you are actually talking uh, uh, about a very sort of a uh, localized kind of situation, right? Is within your your households that kind of situation, uh, Yeah, which is different, is, quite different from the uh, so-called mobiles uh, kind of allocation. Yes, but the thing is, uh, <clears throat> if you don't uh, limit it, uh, you may mm. have interference uh, on other uh, usage itself. That's why Singapore, uh, they they say this all this router uh, must limit yeah. to hundred milliwatt. Yeah, of course. Uh, mm, they have to <clears> approve <throat> it. Yeah, it's sixteen dBm. No? It's actually that's a limit, one, no? uh, hundred mm. milliwatt uh, sixteen dBm. Okay. Sometimes I mean you must you must have more information knowledge on this uh. Okay. Right. <clears throat> like uh, Ham was asking why, I mean, why 5 5 is only using 5 gig. At that time, when they implement, they actually, uh, 5 gig, la, 5 gig is the best because yeah, higher, yeah. Frequency, higher frequency, they can have a higher bandwidth. The 2.4 gig, the bandwidth cannot uh, sustain. 
Okay, it's only 40 meg. It's a 20 meg battery only. So they cannot sustain one. Okay, but yeah. doesn't mean that the, the router have Wi-Fi 5, uh, okay, uh, cannot actually operate on 2.4 gig, you know. It still can operate, you know, but it's not on uh, 11 AC, but on 11 N. Lower standard. Right, correct, correct. Yeah, so, I, my, my home router have both, uh, both uh, uh, 2.4 and 5. Uh. I think yes, yes, most of them yes, actually yeah. have it already. Yes. So the thing is, um, it don't, it don't show here, doesn't mean that, I mean, it cannot operate on 2.4 gig. Okay, it can, but uh, on the lower standards. Uh, okay, yeah, but yeah. on this uh, Wi-Fi 5 standard, they're only using 5 gig. But Wi-Fi 6, uh, because they... One they actually two, have allocators uh, for 2.4, in, 5, and 6. Uh. Yeah, he actually yeah. to try to increase all the usage. That's why right. they, they allocate all of them. Okay, but the thing is, I don't know, if, you, if you're having a device uh, on the lower mm. standard, uh, then or your router will actually drop everybody you know, to the lower standard. That's why if you're using... Uh, uh, very old handphone uh, using uh, 11B uh, talk to the router uh, then everybody mm. will drop no everybody will talk to 11B no not quite you know not quite I I, 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 I don't I don't think so because I, I actually use different uh, generation of mobile phone and when I actually uh, turn them on uh, some actually tag onto the 2.4 some actually tag onto the 5 depends yeah. on how far you are actually come distant from the router. The further it is, uh, they will switch back to 2.4 because the the, the fire uh, cannot cover yes. such a long range, you see. And then for that reason, yeah, uh, when it drops, uh, it will switch to 2.4. Mm -hmm. They are all independent. Not really independent. Uh, I mean, if you look at, if you look at the, the router uh, internal, mm. I mean, the, the throughput itself, you can right. see the difference. You can see a difference. We have tried, I mean, to do benchmark. Uh, I mean, uh, if you have a very low standards connect to the router, uh, then everybody mm -hmm. drop, no? everybody will slow down. This de depends on uh, uh, how many devices tap onto a 2.4 or how many tap onto a 5. That, that certainly also inference uh, because the amount of actually water going through uh, is that much, then more water, water tap actually using it, of course, each one will getting lesser water lah, in that sense. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Lah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this was the timeline, I mean, uh, on the discussion current status uh, on this uh, Wi-Fi 7. To roll out, uh, yeah. Yeah, to roll out. Okay, so mm. um, we are not there yet. Okay, so we right. were uh, expecting, I mean, to be have all this feature, uh, but um, maybe they will change uh, when the when the when they really roll out. But as in now, they are. Uh, no, most of most of the router company, uh, they don't roll out um, the end products until the final amendment. No, they usually using the draft. I mean standards. Uh, they really roll out, roll out the devices, the router itself, by the draft uh, draft standards. Uh. so um, like right now is about uh, draft two la. Uh, the drop 2.0, okay, already came out. So a lot of um, router actually, um, they try to um, be uh, Wi-Fi 6, but um, they implement something that uh, in the chipset, the Wi-Fi 7, okay, have the similar feature. And then uh, based on this uh, drop 2 standards, uh, Okay, uh, yeah. a lot of things are, I mean, internal to the software itself. Uh, I mean, the, the software and hardware. 
Okay. So all these are, uh, it will depends, I mean, how you do implementation. So. Same like those olden days uh, when we have modems, uh, I mean the modem, when modem came out also, I mean, they, they have uh, many uh, standards, no? At one point, I mean, they have this uh, 33K modem. Okay, then uh, they have standards of 56K modem coming out. So 33K actually, they implement uh, halfway 36, no? 36K, 56K. So until, I mean, the standard came out, then they actually ask you to uh, change the firmware and you can have a full, I mean, 56K modem. Yeah, so I, I, I think I think that is of course the, the case because uh, the early uh, lower uh, modem, the, at that time also because of the, the, there was no fiber and yeah. there was no uh, uh, coaxial cable, yeah. you were using a, a DSL. So, so a lower yeah. modem is, is, is acceptable, is it? Now there yeah, with the, uh, the modem for the, uh, why the fiber, of course, are much faster. <clears throat> yeah, but yeah. I mean, but the thing is, not many people want to connect to wire. Yeah, okay. yeah, of course. Like, because, but, but, because but you have the, the modem freedom actually of, uh, connect to yeah. the uh, fiber. Uh. Yeah, la, but I mean, yeah. uh, now, I mean, now the people actually get used to the wireless kind of uh, operation. So Wi-Fi is, uh, I mean, something that is a must. Yeah. Okay, same like 5G, you know, the, the 5G standard. Okay. Um, Singapore has tried to, I mean, uh, to implement 5G throughout the whole country. Okay, to have this uh, speed. Uh, but the thing is, um, if you read the, the exact paper, uh, you found that to get the, the kind of 5G speed, uh, okay, you must be uh, within 10, 15 meters no, of the base station. So the base station yeah, must yeah, be very, yeah. very near you. No? Then you can achieve the high speed. Otherwise, yeah. you will not get kind of speed. No? But that last week, I, I was talking about it, nah. mm. and my understanding is no, they actually using different kind of uh, tower, and then it's actually going down to the, uh, eventually they go into the MIMO uh, kind of uh, millimeters uh, uh, antenna. So the same thing actually is actually this, it's actually e equivalent to that, you see. So they are actually your router, for the YY7, as you say, it will no, be from no, they are eight, using uh, into 16 already. Yeah, but I mean, 5G using different frequency. 5G using very high. They're using millimeter wave, no? that means they use uh, 30 gig, no? 30 gigahertz. So correct. it's, it's high even frequency. higher than the, uh, this one. 27 and 30 gigahertz. So it's very high. It's, yeah. not, it's not the same range as uh, Wi-Fi 7. Wi-Fi 7 is 6 gigahertz only. So the one is very high, very high frequency, very high frequency absorption, even more. But so the, uh, uh, just, just to, to extend a little bit further. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, my understanding is actually the 5G throughput uh, data is even faster than the fiber, you know. Well, the fiber also depends on the, the size of the fiber also. No, it's so, actually... Oh, so in future, is... the, so when the future when the five G is so fully cover up and so on, you can actually use a five G antenna to actually uh, connect to your home uh, Wi Fi. You don't rely just on fiber also, especially uh... for those country that is actually uh, very big in the, uh, they cannot cannot actually lay all the fiber throughout the, the whole the whole nation, you know. 
the mainly actually in the CBD or in, in the city, that's it, you know. Once it's going to suburb, uh, you don't actually get the uh, fiber at all. Australia, even up to now, suburb are all using ADSL. Yeah, I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not always uh, uh, have a, like, uh, luxuries or uh, actually uh, have fiber to your house. Yeah. Uh. Correct. Singapore is different. I mean, Singapore. No way. Yeah, yeah, because we are just a city, you see. Yeah. It's even yeah, smaller Singapore, than Sydney. Uh, <clears throat> now, I, I, I get to know that Korean actually, uh, they have also fiber to all the household in Korea itself. Yeah, maybe in Seoul. Uh. Yeah. And then because the, so it's very big. Uh, it's bigger yeah. than uh, the whole island of Singapore. Mm. And then uh, they, they have 20 million people living there. And then they are, they are 10 gigabit. Uh, this is a broadband, uh, 10, giga, 10 gigahertz broadband. Uh. So mm. 10 giga bandwidth, uh, 10, gig, 10 gig bandwidth uh, broadband. Uh. It's very low, no? very cheap, no? consider. It's about 50 US dollars per month. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Our two gear already, so how much? <laughs> but TBG is actually stirring up the market, right? <laughs> no, uh, those are different. Uh, I mean, they are... They are, they are they using are... LTE, uh, the, the 4G. Yeah, they using LTE is different. They, they cannot provide yeah. the bandwidth. 10 gigabit bandwidth uh, is not is not something that different. Uh. It's very high bandwidth. Uh. Okay, so the <clears throat> um right now they um they have many things uh, actually the based on the timeline itself, okay? So <clears throat> this is what they're looking at. Uh. And then <clears throat> this is another um, chart by Intel, okay? So they started somewhere on uh, July 2018, okay? They call this the uh, extreme high throughput uh, enhancement. Okay, so after that, this evolved into this standard um, 802.11be standard. Okay, then um, they were they were saying that by two and a half year. Uh, from uh, May 21, they will have uh, five draft, okay? Draft one to five. Then um, by November 23, 2023, okay? They will have uh, transformed the fifth draft to the published standard, okay? By May 20. 2024. So you will expect uh, Wi-Fi 7 by then will be come out. Uh. But maybe by then, okay, uh, the phone network will go up to 6G. Already. Yeah, that's what, what I, I thought so, you know, because uh, 6G already in the uh, study already. No, China and have uh, launched, uh, I think, quite a number of uh, satellite up for this uh, 6G operation. Yeah, 6G correct. actually, uh, in China plan is they yeah. actually uh, using satellite as a relay. Okay. Yeah. That means all the microwave uh, is coming down from the satellite to your phone. So uh, it will be much... Uh, faster, I mean, to deploy, okay, to cover, uh, for the whole coverage uh, on the, on the, uh, 
particular country itself. Uh, I mean, once you have satellite all covered, and then you were able to cover the entire place. Uh, not to install, I mean, base station one by one uh, for the country itself. But I, I thought that they actually have to use that the microwave to beam onto the tower and then from there then they distribute out also because between the point to point uh, they cannot be uh, cannot be so far away you know then the latency become higher again yes definitely correct so, so they, the, they the network the is very complex uh, between oh. tower also the network is very complex yeah yeah i i don't think uh your handphone can actually connect directly to the uh, satellite uh. There must be some some of the devices that actually acting as a uh, communications uh, with the satellite and then beam from there to your handphone. Yes, maybe like yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure how exactly uh, they have done it la. But yeah. as in now, okay, China. If you look at the uh, China uh, Beidou uh, Beidou satellites, right. uh, okay, they have uh, some. Um, GPS, uh, GPS devices uh, operate on Beidou, right. able to talk directly to Beidou uh, satellite you know, to send uh, SMS. You know. Do you know that? Yeah, but but you are talking about text messages and uh, of course text, it is text not so much, uh, la, but you are going to actually rely on uh, what we expect, uh, sending video and sending a uh, picture. Yeah, of so course. They, not because, possible, no, because the one, the Beto, they only cater for very low bandwidth. Right. Only they, they actually uh, have the link uh, 160K only. 160 mm. kilo, kilobits. Uh. So it's very low bandwidth. So what they, mm. what they want to send is only send the text message as well as location. That means right. if you subscribe to their, um, to this, um, uh, uh, positioning system, right? And you carry this GPS, uh, they able to track you, you know, where where are you, you know? and then you can send text message to them. So all this without uh, having a uh, uh, any kind of network, you know? mm. so you are in the middle of nowhere. Okay, you can actually using this device to send messages and so on. So it's for those explorer are uh, very uh, useful, uh, and then they also develop uh, some kind of app you know, for their army. You know. right. They can based on the positions, uh, okay, they mark the positions and so on. Uh, they able able to relay back and tell them you know, what is the distance you know, between all these. You know. Right. But same thing now, uh, the, the, for, for our GPS, we, if you turn on the GPS, people can, people can locate you. Uh, and that no, is directly sure, no. your handphone don't have, don't actually have. Don't receiving have. from... No, no. If you don't connect to uh, GSM, your phone networks, uh, nobody ah. will be able to, to, oh, okay. to uh, know you, where are you. Only when you connect, when you connect to the handphone network, uh, then people will oh, know okay. you. Mm. You must connect to the network, uh, I mean, be it the handphone mm -hmm. or Wi-Fi. Uh, I mean, once you connect, uh, then they're able to track your location. Other yeah, than they that, use the three point system uh, the, yeah. on your mobile network and then they yeah. will point you out. Yeah. Uh, but okay. For Beto is different, no Beto is they talk directly to the satellite. Okay. So that will be something that uh, I mean some technology you need to know la, actually all these right. things. Okay. So hmm. uh any more questions? Any more questions? No, 